Hey there, CID families. This is Kelly back again, showing you, like I said I would, um, some just giving you some ideas of things you can use from around your house to make a shaker, kind of like this, that we can use during music time next week and whenever you want to sing with your kids. Um, obviously, my first suggestion would be that it's spring, and if you guys happen to have any extra plastic eggs laying around that would be for spring or Easter eggs or that kind of thing, that you could fill it with something I'm going to show you, give you some ideas, but um, fill it with something and then either tape it off really well or glue it. That's the easiest way to make an egg shaker, but if you don't really have eggs laying around or you want to use different kinds or compare and contrast even what different materials sound like in different containers, there's a lot you can do. So this one, I just took an empty soda can and I washed and dried it out and filled it with some sunflower seeds that were in a bag of bird seeds. And so that's the sun that night, so I just taped off the lid, make sure you tape it really well because that um, edge can be sharp. And also one way or another, you don't want whatever's in here to end up on your kitchen floor or your living room uh, couch, nothing like that. Um, this one I decorated a toilet paper tube, um, used of course, and then put tape on um, one side, filled it with oats, dried oats, um, which I have a large container of, so I just used a couple tablespoons. That makes a different sound. And um, just recognizing that I've got a couple food options here, but um, I'm not really wanting to use my extra dry groceries right now. I don't know about you guys, but I have some options too that aren't that as well. Um, so being able to just talk to your kids if you wanted to make more than one about the different sounds that things make. Um, I'm going to make one right now to show you real fast of, out of a dried and washed um, Gatorade bottle. And... So I just decorated a piece of paper with some stars and you can decorate right on whatever you're doing it or you can decorate a piece of paper using stickers or markers or crayons or whatever you have um, and then tape it on with whatever kind of tape that you happen to have. So I've got the outside decorated now and funny thing I was going to show you some ways to use common materials but also some ways to use uncommon materials so I went to find a funnel to put some rice in here and fun fact, I don't own a funnel. So I'm gonna show you how to make one. Um, so uh, you can just take any old piece of paper and kind of fold it into a cone shape with an opening at the end that's big enough for whatever material you're using to fit in and then just stick it right in your container. So you might have to move it around a little bit, but um, I'm gonna fill this bottle with some rice that had previously been in my sensory table at school that I'm definitely not eating anytime soon. You could also use dried beans, any kind of bird seed or seeds, oats make a fun sound, but I even just walked right outside of my apartment and found a handful of pebbles that I thought would make a fun sound. And I don't want to make a mess by trying to get these in here without a funnel, so I'm going to fold this back into the cone shape, stick it in the side. Might have to shake it around a little bit. There we go, my pebbles are in, and I'm gonna add the rice too, just to see what sound that makes. Stick this back in. Pour the rice in, maybe. And again, you might have to shake it around or move it a little bit to get it to all go in the right way. But this would be a great time to work on language with your kids, like pour, and more and having them give you directions and um, you giving them directions one step at a time so that they're having to listen to it. Um, and then you put the lid back on and I would definitely recommend gluing it. Anything that you fill a container with, I would recommend doing whatever you can to um, make sure that that stays shut. Because like I said, you don't want rice all over your kitchen floor or your uh, sofa when you decide to start playing your instruments. So. Then you can shake it, and it works just as well as the egg shakers or natural instruments. So I hope you have fun making your shaker this week. I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with for their creation. Um, make sure you comment with a picture under this video so that I can see what you made and everyone else can see what you made, and I can probably get even more ideas from you. So I can't wait to see what you make. Um, you don't need to make it until next Wednesday when it's time for music time again, and you don't even have to make one. There, it's not a homework assignment. It's something fun that you can do with your kid this week if you want. So, I hope you guys have a great week. I can't wait to sing and dance with you again next week.